I'm Dylan Von Kleist, North American Marketing Manager here at Rupas USA, and this is everything you need to know about the Rupas Bigfoot DA microfiber pad system. The DA microfiber pad system from Rupas is a set of three pads that have been specifically engineered, designed, and tested to support any dual action tool that includes your random orbital tools like the LHR21, LHR15, or something like even the LHR75E Mini, as well as the gear-driven tools like the Melee, because there are two actions in those tools. So, so DA and DA microfiber stands for dual action. Why are there three different colors in the DA microfiber pad system? Simply because there's three ranges of cut. Like every other pad in our range, blue is the most coarse or most aggressive cutting pad, yellow is a medium to fine range, and white is gonna be on the ultra fine or finishing side. So what is different about each of the three colors? Everything, really. In the DA microfiber pad system, every pad has a different foam substrate, their different heights, and even the fabric material on the face. While they all look the same, a white microfiber fabric, they actually are different tuned specifically for the cut or finish level we were trying to achieve with those. So really every aspect of these pads is different depending on which one you're using. Microfiber is always gonna be at the top of the range in terms of relative cut. So the blue coarse or extreme cut microfiber pad as we call it is going to have more cutting power, more defect removal power versus something like the blue wool pad or even the blue foam. Same thing would be true in the yellow or white. The equivalent material, foam, wool, or microfiber, microfiber is always gonna be the highest cutting potential in that particular color category. Microfiber, depending on the surface you're on, can actually finish quite well. The yellow and white in the Rupa's Bigfoot DA microfiber pad range actually finish surprisingly well for a microfiber pad. You may tend to see some hazing from the more aggressive material though on softer paint systems. It's always important to perform a test spot, adjust your technique, and understand that if you use a more aggressive material on a softer or more easily corrected paint system, you may see some hazing as a result, but in some cases you may see no hazing at all and actually see an excellent finish. So why are the DA microfiber pads slightly larger than the backing plate? It's intentional and it actually has a few purposes. One, we give you a couple extra millimeters on the edge just to provide some buffering between you and the adjacent surfaces. With any dual action polisher, you have some lateral movement. With that, there's always a chance you might accidentally bump into something. So we give you a little bit of a buffer there just to kind of keep that backing plate out of contact with adjacent surfaces. It's also important for the balancing aspects. Because these pads have a very square edge design and they're a little bit more low profile, we need to add a little additional mass to balance out the tools that they're designed to work with. Rupus is famous for our extreme ergonomics and balance of all of our tools. The pads are an integral part of that balancing system. So we add a little bit of extra material to the edges to protect the edges, but also to help balance the tool. Absolutely, you can one step with these pads. Uh, you have to dial in the pad choice, whether blue, yellow, or white, along with the choice of liquid, and always it's going to be a paint dependent situation, but there's a high potential for one step cut and finish. Uh, you can use them with their color coded liquid, for example, using DA Fine with the yellow DA microfiber pad produces a very, very strong cut and an incredibly impressive finish on a lot of paint systems that we've tested. You may even try pairing something like the DA White Ultra Fine microfiber pad with something like Uno Protect for a one step. We've seen incredible results with that system as well. In the end, it comes down to you testing a combination of pad and compound on the specific surface that you're working on to find something that delivers cut and finish in one step. It may not be possible 100% of the time, but if you spend a little bit of time in testing, get to know these products and understand them, there's a high potential for one step correction and finish. We like to make it really simple here. We color code everything. So as a general starting point, DA course with the blue DA microfiber pad, yellow DA fine with the yellow DA microfiber pad, or Uno Pure or Uno Protect with the white or ultra fine DA microfiber pad. Certainly you can mix and match these combinations to find the perfect combination for the particular surface you're on, but this color coded system gives you a perfect starting point to use as kind of the basis for where you're gonna go. And then you can make small adjustments from there. 
We're gonna go ahead and encourage you not to use microfiber, really any microfiber, with a rotary polisher. Priming the DA microfiber pads is like priming any other fiber pad per our recommendation. We're gonna to wanna to get an even coating of the compound that we're using onto the surface and try and get that onto every fiber in the pad. So you can do that a number of ways. You can draw an X on the pad and use something like the claw pad tool to spread the compound over the surface. You can even draw kind of a spiral out from the center using the lid of the bottle as a little bit of a spreader. You can use anything really as long as we get that face coated with compound. If we don't move the compound around to start, that compound is not going to move around on its own. Microfiber is exceptionally good at grabbing, holding on to things. So where we put that compound is where it's going to stay. So we have to force prime a little bit, but by doing that, by investing a couple of moments and doing that force priming action by spreading the compound, we're gonna get optimal performance right out of the gate. The answer to that question is as often as possible. Microfiber, again, is exceptionally good at grabbing and holding on to things. That includes the clear coat or paint residue that you're pulling off of the surface. Because of that, we've got to clean these pads frequently. The softer the paint, the more frequently we should be cleaning. As the pad gets loaded, all of the attributes of it start to go down. Your cut rate re uh, reduces, your finish reduces, your operator experience can even become bad. So we want to use either compressed air to blow the residue out of the pad, or you can even use a vacuum and a crevice tool to vacuum the residues out of the pad, or just switch to a new pad. But ultimately, doing that frequently, making sure that we don't have excessive amounts of compound and spent clear coat, will keep results consistent through the entire cycle of the pad. Really, they're safe for any surface. You can use them on clear coat as well as single stage. Lacquer finishes, varnishes, and even in some limited capacity can be used on gel coat and resin type surfaces as well, just using caution because of the heat and residue load. But really, microfiber is an incredibly versatile material that can be used on a lot of different surfaces. Just the key thing is to remember to keep those pads clean and cool and manage that heat load.